Emma Watson. Yeah. Says she's self-partnered. Love Emma. Watched her the other night. Not single. Excuse me? Stay with me. What did you say? Emma Watson says she's self-partnered. She's great in Beauty and the Beast. Not single. What? Emma Watson has said she prefers to call herself self-partnered rather than single as she approaches her 30th birthday. What does that mean? You're dating yourself. Yourself. You are completely okay with not with being your a relationship oh. with yourself. Okay. All right. So you are self-partnered. And if you're a woman who's approaching 30 and you're figuring out a way to get away from the fact that you're still single so desperately that you're renaming single, that in itself, so as a like self- to me, that in itself just shows me you are not okay with being single at 29, which is crazy because why not? Right. And I guess she's got issues with being single to the point where she's got to call it something else. Now, she's self-partnered. Now, just asking questions. What does that mean? Is she taken... <laughs> I don't know. Should is I she, try? Is she in a relationship? Right. If I you know. is she in a committed relationship with herself to the point where if you asked her on a date, she's like she would be like, no. Currently, I'm I'm unavailable. I'm I'm currently with someone. I'm with me. Is that what's it's happening? A fair discussion to have about it, but I respect her right to call herself self partnered, and I will do my best. The uh, actor and activist whose birthday is in April said she initially did not understand the fuss that surrounded the milestone. More recently, however, she admitted feeling stressed and anxious about her upcoming birthday. If you have not built a home, if you do not have a husband, if you do not have a baby and you are turning 30 and you are not in some incredibly secure, stable place in your career, you're still figuring things out. There's just this incredible amount of anxiety. By the way, that's really sweet and understanding and, and fair. Vulnerable and open. I like that. But why is it? Why is that not okay? Right. Good question. Speaking of how she had never believed the I'm happy single spiel, she added, it took me a long time, but I'm very happy being single. I call it being self-partnered. All right. The new phrase is reminiscent of actor Gwyneth Paltrow's use of the term conscious uncoupling. Goop. Describe her divorce. Later this year, Watson will return to the screen playing Margaret and Meg March and Little Women. The full oh, interview will appear. Crushes. Okay, but hold on. I really like this girl's. I like that quote. Yeah. She's like, I'm a, I feel like a mess because I'm 30 and I don't have all these things that I'm supposed to have when I'm that 30. That I see probably in social media and my friends that other people have. And it makes which, me, gives me a lot of anxiety. And I think that's really sweet and adorable and okay. And it helps her out. To, yeah, me too. But I just don't understand why she's got to name herself self-connected or self-centered what or whatever using. the fuck she is. That's what she but, calls it to make Okay. It- Emma Watson, it's okay to be feel like you're out of like a mess. We all feel like that certain days. I feel like a crazy person three days a week. I'm 50. Everyone's crazy. I got everything that I want. We're humans. Emma Watson, give yourself a break and don't make yourself seem like a weirdo. It's okay to be single and nuts. It's beautiful. She's great in Beauty and the Beast. Hadn't seen that yet. I don't even know who she is. Was she? Oh, she was the Harry She's Potter her girl. Mighty. Hermione. She's Hermione, and she's gone on to be a pretty big actress. She's yeah. great. Well, there you go. D- I hope you're okay with being self-centered or self-partnered or self-sufficient or whatever the fuck. It's okay to also feel like you're out of your mind before you're 30 because that's a big date, and I wish you the best. That's what she's using to call herself, and if it makes her feel better, I support it. I'll call you self-partnered, Emma.